today we are going to see how easy it is to have the Play Store on any computer and all Google services. And the best of all is that if I don't want to install it on my computer, I can just run it off a USB pen drive. We are going to check out both ways, running on the USB pen drive or installing on our computer. And in my particular case, at this moment, I'm running Windows, Linux and OS, which will give us a Chrome OS experience, probably even better. Now, if you are using Windows on your computer 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below. Now, that being said, let's go for this quick guide so that in about three to five minutes, you will be able to run on your computer and I can use it just for fun on my computer or if I want to use on a older laptop for a kid so that it can do its homework and at the same time can have fun with Android apps, then this is just awesome. We will need only two things, one of which is FideOS. We just need to go to their website. And once we are on the FideOS website, we just need to press download. And then on the download page, there are several options. I just need to know the generation of my CPU, which is easy. We can check out on our computer and then select the version that I need to download. There are a few versions available and there are a lot of options. If we want to use a Raspberry Pi, we can. If we want to use, for example, a older surface, there is that option as well. And if I don't want to install and I don't want to run off a USB pen drive, I can also install it as a virtual machine. So just select the option that we want and that is it. Now you can see the version that I did download for my CPU. We just need to download to our computer and that is it. Now we will need a tool to create a bootable pen drive. And for that, we are using Rufus for the last few videos, but today we are going to use Belena Etcher, which is a tool that I really enjoy, available for Windows, Mac OS, and I do believe that for Linux as well. Now, once we have these two on our computer, we just need to install Belena Etcher. And once we install it, just open it up and it's going to ask me where the image is. And I'm going to select the one that I did download, which in this particular case, it's Fide OS. Then I'm going to select which pen I want to use and just press start. It will do the process, which will take a about two or three minutes, depending on the USB drive that we are using. And that is it. I can remove the pen drive and now put it on the computer that I want to use, in this particular case, using this laptop right over here. Now, once we put in the USB drive, just turn on the computer and we will need to go to the buyer settings so that we can boot off the USB drive. Now, all buyers are different, so you just need to check out which one is yours and press delete or F2 so that you can choose to run off the USB pen drive. Once you do that, we will get into the welcome screen and right over here, we will have the option to install or to run off the USB pen drive. Now, if you decide to run first of the USB pen drive, which is what I would advise, but just make sure that you have a fast USB pen drive. I would say at least 100, 200 megabytes per second, because slower than that, it will not give you a good experience. But if we decide to go off the USB pen drive, we just need to follow along the next few steps. And in a matter of two or three minutes, we will be on FideOS desktop. And if you are going this route, then you can just go to the timestamps and run to the part where we are going to enable the Play Store. Now, for those that want to install, let's move on. Now, in my particular case, I did install on a internal hard drive or SSD in this particular case. So once I do select install, it will perform a initial installation of some components and then there will be a prompt to shut down, remove the pen and restart the computer. Now, once I do restart, we will see a menu with the choice of the operating systems. In my particular case, I do have Windows, I've got Linux and also Fide OS. So let's choose Fide OS. And right now I just need to follow the steps which are really easy. In my particular case, I did install it on a separate disk. So that was the option that I did select. But if you have one single disk on your computer and you want to have Windows and then Fido OS, you can go into Windows and create a partition and then use that partition to install Fido OS only with one SSD. So that's another tip. So in this case, I did install it on a separated disk, but 
that was it. Now, in a few minutes, the system was installed. It was really, really fast. This is something that it's really light. One of the lightest operating systems that we have used so far. Once we are on FidoS desktop, then we can start using with everything, Google accounts, and then we can have Google documents and so on and so forth. But we still haven't the Google Play Store activated. So that's exactly what we are going to do right now. And it's just a matter of a few clicks. So what I need to do is to open Fired OS menu, and then I just need to choose the Fired OS store. Once I do choose, there is an option that says configure open gaps. And that is it. We just need to select and then follow the steps. It will take about, I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that. And once it's installed, it will ask to restart. Now, once it restarts and that is it. We will have the Google Play Store and we can start installing the apps that we want. And I did install a lot of them, Netflix and Instagram and whatnot, and a few games as well. The experience was great. So I'm really happy to tell you that unlike some of the systems that sometimes we get a glitch on an app or another, I haven't found so far at least one app that did not work. So my experience on Netflix was great and similar apps. I did also try some games because I was really curious. And there are some games that we will need a mouse because they are targeted at devices with touch screen. So if you have a laptop with a touch screen, that will be easy. But if it doesn't like mine, then we will need to use a mouse. But there are games like Asphalt 8 that did recognize the gamepad and we could play with a top-notch experience. So it will depend depends on the game and on the app and I would suggest and ask if possible and if you try Fide OS please leave down below on the comment section your experience your computer what did work if anything didn't work so we can gather more information so basically this is a way to turn any computer into a better experience because there are a lot of versions as we have seen on Fido OS downloads page that will be able to turn our computer into something useful just for fun or to repurpose a computer for a children to do their homeworks and then also have some fun with apps. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.